And now the, the, the final part of the trilogy is uh, Plague of the Daleks. Um, it's... I don't... I'm gonna I'm gonna say this out loud right now. This was this this was kind of a disappointment. Um, after the first two were so were so good, and this is kind of the end of that. Uh, I'm 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 not really a big fan of this one. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll kind of explain why as I go on. Um, I don't know the writer that well. I don't think I've listened to anything by Mark Morris uh, before or or anything. So. I, I can't say if I can't really think of anything to, to kind of compare to if, if he did something I liked here. Uh, um, the, the whole thing is, you know, they, this one takes place in the future, like I said before. Uh, it's the the, the Earth uh, uh, kind of it, it's in shambles as it tends to be when we go into the future, uh, but basically. Stockbridge is kind of the same. It's still this perfectly preserved English village in the future. It's a it's a vacation destination to see how life was like back in olden times. And uh, I I think I thought that was kind of funny. Not knowing Stockbridge too well, but I I do understand it. It's kind of a it's the quintessential Eng, uh, Brit English village. <laughs> In a way, it it, it it the fact that it's preserved as a heritage site, I think, if I was British and knew about it, I'd probably think this was a lot more clever. And even then, I think it's kind of an, I think it's kind of an interesting way to take Stockbridge. And I listened to the behind the scene material, and that was the best way they could see it because they figured, well, we how can we make it Stockbridge? If we make it, you know, like a like a regular futuristic, look at all the flying cars land, it it wouldn't be Stockbridge anymore. So this was the best way to kind of keep it. And they, and I will say this, like the others, they do keep Stockbridge. There's an atmosphere to to all of them, and I I never got to that. And I th and the only reason I didn't think about it now is because the atmosphere's there. They they they. If anything, the first episode and. A lot of the second episode of this are just it is it, mostly just um, uh, it, it all takes place in this kind of quaint English place of Stockbridge, and two kind of slowly gets rid of it, and you'll see why. The reason why there's the word plague is in the title is because the a big threat is base it, it, it's a zombie army. The the Daleks are creating. A zombie army, and it's not like creating an army uh, like uh, is not out of their nature. I mean, hell, back in the '60s, they made Robo Men, which were men with. They're well, basically, the best way to put it is they're really crude versions of the Borg or Cybermen. They just, you know, attach goofy-looking electronics to their heads and make them soldiers. Uh, they, they, um. Kind of, and plus, I th still think they kind of basically upgraded them to what those freaky-looking kind of zombie, is it Do like predator Daleks from uh, Asylum, w w you know, with the laser coming out of their palms and the eye stock coming out of their foreheads. <coughs> it was like that. Um, there's also they also had those ridiculous pigmen from Evolution of the Daleks. So, the idea of them. Doing, you know, making, uh, you know, making an, an army isn't new. The but zombies just kind of seems boring to me. It's just we're gonna make zombies. Okay, I mean, I I there hasn't really been any Doctor Who zombie stories. Uh, uh, part of the Unquiet Dead, but again, you find out that they're being controlled by a species of aliens. Hell, th this isn't a new well. This isn't this isn't a new well. Precisely creating an undead army. No, it's it, it's not. And Doctor Who, it's not incredibly new either. Uh, yeah, this is, this idea has been done. A in the show. I'm pretty sure. That, yeah, the classic series had this too, obviously. And uh, hell, Big Finish, I think, even did a, a did at least a companion chronicle I've heard. 
with the same thing. And basically, after that, my big complaint is this, this, this thing was mistitled. Because based on the title, it commits one of the most annoying things. I hate when they do this. When any, when any show does this, they make... Okay. Now, apparently, they were going to need... They had another name for it. They were going to call it Village of the Damned. Which I think would have been... A, it sound, it, because here's why I'm ha I, I wish they kind of stuck with that. Because, you know, the, the, the Daleks are in the title, and they're on the cover, but they make them a surprise. They don't show up until the last part of, uh, like, the last few minutes of part two. I, and it's, an, I hate when that happens. It annoys me when that happens. Um, I, I, I'm just like, like... like I mean, yes, the surprise is for the characters, but I, I just don't really abide by that, um, because if you know as an as the audience, you're, you, you, you don't do that kind of thing for the characters' benefit. You do that for the audience, at least in my mind. If you know the Daleks were kind of, if they made them show up and not have the characters be aware of them until later. Have us know they're around, but have the characters look at them as a big mystery. I'd be fine with this. I, I, I think that I would have been okay with it. If they showed up earlier and not make a huge deal of, like, like, you know, if, if we saw them, and the characters saw them much later in the story, I think they could have their cake and eat it too. But they really should have not, you know, not say the Daleks were there. They should have made them a surprise, because it ruins their plan. I, I, I don't like to. I don't like to make those decisions. I don't like to play, you know, uh, armchair writer or anything. I just, it, it, it just kind of ruins it after that. Because when you know they're coming, you're like, okay, show up, show up already. And halfway through, like almost literally at the halfway mark, they finally show up. That kind of I was kind of frustrated with it already, and the stuff that follows it wasn't that interesting. It was just them going, we're going to take over with our army! And the doctor stops them. There's an interesting twist uh, where you... Because you do meet this, this father-daughter uh, kind of team, this duo who run Stockbridge. I really liked them. They were fun. Uh, they... They were. Uh, they came off like really nice people. I wasn't. I wasn't put off by them in any way. Until the the end. Until you until you find out what they are. Well, even when you find out what they actually are, I, they, you know they're still well acted. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, like always, you know, Davison's great. Uh, Sarah Sutton, who plays Nissa, is great. And those two, I liked. There's also these other people because again it's a vacation destination and other people who are coming here for their vacation as tourists. Those people weren't that exciting. Uh, there was this old woman and her husband, uh, uh, who the the old woman got on my nerves. The the old guy was like, "I'm happy to go anywhere. I'm great," and he and of course he gets turned to a zombie. Uh, but yeah. That's the thing. Once you find out that there's zombies involved in their plan, it's it's not that their plan doesn't make sense. It's just that their plan's so boring. Like so much of this story is just very boring. Um, and the only thing really kind of setting like selling it are the actors. I I I was I. Can't, I don't know, I can't, I don't want to say I hate this, but I just wasn't happy with this. It's really disappointing as, you know, because you know, the trilogy was going here, and you want a satisfying ending to a trilogy, and this wasn't it. Uh, again, it, it, it's not like, you know, this was, it was all leading up to this in a way, like, all these events were just kind of circling in, and 
I, I, I'm, I'm just, just more pissed at, okay, it was very obvious at one point, you were, it, I'd be less pissed off at this, if they kept, at least if they kept the Daleks a surprise. You can pimp out the doctors fighting zombies in the future of Stockbridge. If anything, that's kind of one of the expected, uh, you know, directions you'd go when you're going to make your third story based in the future. Zombies apocalypse are, are popular. And again, I've mentioned that the Daleks, or anything in general that you've seen on him fight against undead, but not particularly zombies, so I was kind of interested to see him fa face zombies, and it was just disappointing. Uh, I mean, if... I, I don't want... I can't... Part of me can't say skip this, because if, if you're like me, and you want to have, like, the complete trilogy of something like this... You're gonna want it. You're you're gonna want to get it. But if if you're if you don't want to be disappointed, I I'm not. I wouldn't really recommend this. Uh, if you're wanting to get this as a separate story, get. I wouldn't recommend this only because it's just not that good on its own. And as a, as a part of a trilogy, again, it's just disappointing. So yeah, that was it. Um, the the trilogy as a whole. I really like the first two. The first two are, are like I like I said before, get those, and then you know to take the. The only reason I'm also not too upset is I got this on sale. <laughs> I got this for five bucks off their website on a, during a sale. You may not be as lucky though. So um, yeah, uh, don't. Uh, it, it, I wouldn't highly recommend this, but if, if you want to. If you want a good trilogy, if you want a trilogy to start with, I think this is a fairly good place to start. Yeah, it, um, as a trilogy, uh, you you don't need to know much. You don't need to know who Nissa is. You don't need to really know much about this version of the Doctor. And it, it it's a good kind of ongoing adventure. I'll, I'll say this. I I will I will tell you that. Uh, I hope you, any of you enjoyed this.